Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over a command manager system, uh, which easily allows you to implement subcommands inside of your command instead of having one giant, uh, one giant command class, right? Because that's pretty much the way that Bucket handles it right now. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So you guys are having some troubles, go over there and check it out. But let's just go ahead and make a Java class here. We'll just call this commands and then we will say subcommand. So this is pretty much going to be uh, anything after the command. So this is our command here, right? So our command. And then it's going to be the next variable there, right? So it's going to be subcommand. And then this is where we're going to have our zero, our one, and so on, right? But we'll get into that a little bit more. So this is what we're getting right here. So we're setting this up. So we need to actually make this an abstract class. I don't know. So public abstract class. And this is going to be a public, if I could spell, subcommand. And then we're just going to go ahead and say public abstract. And this is going to be void on command. And it's going to take a player. Player. It's going to take a, a array of arguments. And okay, so we'll uh, do that there. Then we want to go ahead and say public abstract string name which is going to be the name of our command and then we gotta go ahead and get a public abstract string info which is going to be the information for the description then we want to go ahead and say public abstract string an array of them because these are going to be the args or well sorry not args the aliases so if you wanted um, to give it a couple different ways to use the command. Now I want to say that what we're doing here was not done by me. Uh, I have seen this and I have used it for many, many years. I don't know where it originated from, um, but it has been on sort of the bucket forums, the speaker forums for a long time. So I'm not taking credit for this because I did not come up with this myself. So just as a little side note there. So if someone comments down below, I'm like, oh my God, you're totally copying somebody. It could be. I haven't seen anybody upload anything recently using this method, um, but I feel like it's very useful and it's going to help a lot of people. So inside of here, we're going to go ahead and make a new class and we're going to call it command manager. So now this is class is where it gets a little bit dense. Uh, so just try to follow along. So this is going to implement command executor and listener, listener. Actually, I don't think we even need the listener one there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. So there we go. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create a private array list. This is going to be of subcommands. And this is going to be commands equals a new array list. Uh, okay. And you can go ahead and add subcommands in here again. You don't particularly need to, but if that's how you so choose to do it. Then we're going to go ahead and get an instance of our main class here, which is going to be command main plugin equals command main dot get instance, which I've already set up beforehand. Then let's just go ahead and say public command manager. Okay. And then we're going to, you can do this a couple ways now. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put all of my subcommands like right here so I can easily see them and access them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say public string uh, info equals info. So that way I can just go ahead in here and change the subcommand and not have to worry about going back into all my classes. You can just go ahead and write it the way where you, uh, the way you normally would which I'll show in a little bit here once we get towards that so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we have to create our setup method which is just going to be a private void 
uh, this is not private, sorry. Public void, public void setup. And then inside of here, we need to go ahead and just say plugin git command. And we do need our main command here, so we're just gonna call this main. So our main command will just be slash yt. So we'll just go ahead and say main. And you can see how this doing this by writing them out is just much easier. Because then you know you just change it here and then you just add that variable over and it changes everywhere. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and set executor, and it's going to be this. And then okay, so that's all we have to do now. So now what we have to do is since we're going to have our sub command of info, we will just go ahead and say this dot commands dot add and it's just going to be a new info command which doesn't exist yet but we will go ahead and work on that after this so the next part here is where it starts to get a little bit dense so try to follow along here uh, there's sort of a lot happening in here so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, implement this method here just so we don't have to write it out and this is just going to be we're just gonna change this to sender we're gonna keep that command and this is just going to be args and we're gonna go ahead and return true. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say if sender is not instance of player, we wanna go ahead and return a message. And let's just pop this right here, there we go. So if sender is not instance of player, we are going to go ahead and uh, Say sender dot send message check color dot red. This is or well we'll say only players can use commands for this plugin. We'll say, and we don't need to worry about adding all the return statements here since we're always going to return true at the end. So don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, well, we can actually go ahead and uh, just return true here because that way we don't have to just put this in an else statement here so then we're just gonna go ahead and cast player to the sender and this is going to be sender and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna say if CMD oh well not CMD if it's command if command dot get name dot equals ignore case and equals main we're going to run some code and now we're gonna go ahead and say if args that length is equal equal to zero we need to go ahead and just send another message uh, player dot send message and this would just be chat color dot red and we just need to go ahead and say please add arguments to your command uh, type slash yt help for info which we don't we don't have yet so that's that's okay but and then we will just go ahead and return true there because we don't want it to go any further okay so before we can continue on here we have to go ahead and create our method for the sub commands right so we got to go ahead and say uh, private sub command and we're just going to call this git and it's just going to be string name and now what we can do is go ahead and say iterator and we're going to iterate through the sub command here and this is going to be sub commands and this is going to equal this dot commands dot iterator so we're going to say while sub commands dot has next so we're going to say sub command uh, we're just going to say s command equals subcommand, which is going to be subcommand dot next. <laughs> All right. So then, what we're going to go ahead and say is if s command. Uh, actually, you know, we'll just name this sc just so it's just a little easier. So if sc dot name dot equals ignore case name then we're going to go ahead and return the sc or the subcommand then we're going to go ahead and say 
we're going to have the array of strings here. And this is just going to be called, uh, we'll call this var1 or variable1. One. So we're going to say int var6 equals var1 equal to, oops, I'm not typing, equal to sc dot alias and this is going to be dot length so we're getting the length of the aliases there and then we're gonna go ahead and say for int var 5 equals to 0 and this is going to be var 5 is less than var 6 and then we're gonna say plus plus var 5 Okay, so I told you this is the part where it kind of gets confusing here. Um, so you can actually go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and change these to alias. Just so it makes a little bit more sense. And then we'll just go ahead and change this to length and length. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and say string alias. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Is that what it's telling me? Oh, it's just never used. Okay. <laughs> equals var1. Or, well, we got rid of var1. So, equals alias, aliases. And we want to go ahead and grab our var5, which is just going to be right there. Next thing we want to do is we're going to say if name that equals ignore case alias. We're going to go ahead and return sc or subcommand. And if it does not do any of this, so we're just going to go down here and we're just going to go ahead and say return null if it does not have next. Okay, so kind of a lot going on in here and I kind of want to explain a little bit better, I kind of just talk through it. Uh, so we need to iterate through all of our subcommands, which we add right here, which I actually made the class so we could uh, not have the error there. So we're iterating through all of those subcommands, right? So while subcommands that has next, we're going to make a subcommand of the next in the iterator. And we're going to say if the subcommand here equals the you know the variable that we put in here, which we'll add in up here, we want to go ahead and just return it right there. Then we need to make a string of the oh on array of the aliases, and we need to know the length of the aliases. And then this is just basically looping through and getting all those aliases and then matching it up to the original subcommand. So that makes sense. All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do subcommand and target equals this dot get. And this is just going to be args zero because that's going to be our subcommand, right? As I, uh, where did I put it? Right here. So this is what we're getting, right? So then inside of here, what we can do is we can say if target equal equals null, because we want to make sure it doesn't equal null, uh, we're just going to go ahead and grab this message here uh, and just say invalid subcommand. And then we'll just go ahead and return true. Next, if after we pass that check there, let's just go ahead and create an array list of strings and inside of this are oops inside of this array list of strings is uh, we'll just call this uh, array list just because I'm too lazy for names we're gonna say new array list of strings so we'll just go back here and just put strings next we're gonna say a or array list dot add all and it's going to be arrays dot as list and it's going to be args because we want to go ahead and add all of the arguments for uh, the commands and then what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and say a dot remove oops Woo! don't need all that so we want to go ahead and say array list dot remove and we're just going to go ahead and remove zero because zero is our sub command right so we don't want that to be taken into the rest of the arguments there then we're just going to go ahead and do try, and this is going to be target dot on command. And it's going to be player, and it's going to be args. 
then we're just going to go ahead and catch and we'll just say exception e and we're just going to go ahead and simply e dot print stack trace and we'll go ahead and just copy this message here and we'll say uh and an error has occurred i can spell change to occurred there we go an error has occurred so now if we go here to our info commands let's just go ahead and implement these methods it has to extend subcommand and let's just do public command manager command manager and let's just go ahead and instance this command manager equals new command manager and let's just do command manager dot setup okay and let's just go ahead and copy this plugin instance here paste it into our info command there and what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're just going to go ahead and say plugin dot command manager dot info is going to be our uh, command uh, info we'll just go ahead and return nothing there and aliases we will just go ahead and just keep that there I don't really care about aliases I never use them so now what we can go ahead and do is we can just set something up here so we can just say player dot send message this info is cool so now if we go ahead and extract this well export it not extract it so if we go ahead and export this project now and just do a quick reload there and if we go ahead and do slash yt please add arguments to your command and then what we can do is yt info and you see this info is cool so now if we want to add more commands all we have to do is basically just go here create a new class we'll call this uh, help command and we'll just say implements subcommand we'll just go here implement methods implement all those perfect and then we just go back in here and we just go ahead and say this dot commands dot add and this is going to be new help command and that's it and then now everything else inside of here is uh, we'd have to obviously go ahead and say plugin well we'll just say help for now and an extends sorry not implements it extends subcommand so that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and one quick note before we head out here is these arguments um, they start at zero right okay so so we have our command here which is uh, slash yt, then our subcommand, which is info. So then after that, this is actually args zero. So if you guys are looking to do arguments inside of here, they start at arg zero here. These are not taken into consideration. This is just the command. This is the subcommand, and then these are the arguments that follow. So just remember that when you're doing this. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on Thursday.